look up one more hand. What if there were no black people? Well, mom got about right that for a moment and then said, son, follow me around today and let's just see what it would be like if there were no black people in the world. Get dressed and we will get started. We are rarely grown to put on his clothes and shoes, but there are no shoes. His clothes are all wrinkles. He looked for the iron, but when he reached for the iron board, he was no longer there. You see, Sarah Moon, a black woman, invented the iron board, and Jane E. McCuller, a black man, invented the shoe lace. Oh, little mom said, go to the very end. We are ready to prove the problem is there, but the problem was not there. You see, Walter Salmon, a black man, invented the problem. We all decided to just worship him. But the rest is gone. You see, we are all knowing a black female in the fresh. Well, you was like, no shoes, brittle clothes, caramel, without the hair care and vision of that thing that walker. Well, you get the picture, Mom told me of. Let the little girls around the house and be a trip to the grocery store. The young girl was to sweep the floor. He slept and he slept and he slept. When he reached for the left hand, it was not there. You see, Lord P. Ray, a black man, and it was the left hand. So he slept his car on their coat in the corner and left it there. He then decided to lock the door when the lock was gone. You see, he told his left hand to bring a black man and it was the lock. We all talked to his nose. I'm not having any love. Well, son, you know what I'm saying? We will watch the photo and we'll prepare at least for the rest of the story. When he finished, he all went to the place to follow to the ground, but it was not there. You see, George T. Thomas, a black man, who is the whole drive. He all got a pencil and a paper to the families for the market, but noticed that the pencil land was broken as well. He was out of love with his son of a black man, and he was the whole drive. He reached for a pen, but it was not there because the only purpose of black men is to follow the pen. As a matter of fact, when he reached the middle of the top of the machine, it was WA Medicine and the print of the printer. So that time he came out to the market, but when we don't open the door, he knows the grass is high up in the car. When you see the long road was a young by the number of black men, that man that worked on the car and found that it wouldn't go. You see, Robert Spike, the black man, invented the automatic gear shield, and Joseph Gamble invented the supercharged system for turning the bush to him. They noticed that we were part of the rules for the rain and the so that they had the rain because there were no traffic tickets. You see, Gary A. Morgan, the black man, invented the traffic light. Well, it was getting late, so they walked to the park, got their roads, and returned home. Therefore, they were about to put away the new egg and water. 